Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Riku Story, also known as Reverse or Rebirth. So today, we only have two worlds left to do out of this uh, starter deck. We have Olympus Coliseum and Halloween Town. We're going to go to Olympus Coliseum today because our deck is slightly worse in this world. And the enemies are slightly more annoying. Welcome back to Olympus Coliseum! <laughs> and it's far from the last time we'll see it in the series. So looking at our deck, you can probably see, wow, this deck sucks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ones, and then zeros. But we also have the Power Wild card. Reverse the values of all cards. 1 becomes 9, 2 becomes 8, 3 becomes 7, etc. Zero cards are unaffected by this. So actually, our deck that's filled with ones will actually turn into a deck that's filled with nines, which is pretty nice. Also, looking at the size of Olympus Coliseum, it's fairly big, but we don't have to worry about these bottom rooms. Alright, so going into battle, we got the Power Wilds. The one annoying thing is that the Power Wild card only lasts for one reload, so after your first reload, you have kind of a bad deck. But, again, after the Power Wild card roll, uh, wears off, you still have the Jafar card, which is pretty nice. And the Dragon Maleficent card, which is also really good. Whoa, when did I get this many Mickey Mouse cards? Or King Mickey cards? I kind of wish you got a better deck in this world and the Bouncy Wild card. I think that would have been better, but... Alright, these guys have weak attacks. Or for the most part, so I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna try Dragon Maleficent. Alright, maybe that was a big mistake Ethan. Alright, that's not working. Wow, lots of slowdown. Alright, let's go to the Power Wild card. I wish the uh, Power Wild card didn't last for two reloads, or maybe. That would be nice, but, I mean, it's totally manageable, and it's not as bad as the Atlantica deck. It's actually probably not even as bad as the Alice in Wonderland deck. Oh, boy. Fat boy's here. I'm kind of surprised he didn't turn around until just then. Oh, fat bodies give a lot of fat experience. Only just. I like how they give us zero cards in this world because we have to fight Hades, and Hades, one of the few Disney villains who actually uses slates against you. Oh boy! Doc Riku mode. Oh, also, I want to try something. Apparently, if you do a double jump and then follow it up with an attack. Oh, wow! That's really good. Alright, double jump and then... Wow, that's really good. Alright, well, I'm glad I learned about that. I guess the problem is I still don't have a lot of ways, to, like, any ways to heal myself outside of Mickey Mouse cards. So you pretty much have to rely on the random drops for Mickey to do anything. Knock it off. Just die already. <laughs> Why do are all my Mickey Mouse cards zero cards? That's terrible. Zero valued attack cards are good. Zero valued any other card are bad. Alright, come here, you monkey. Take that. Oh, nice, Mickey. Way to kill the Heartless. No, not Almighty Darkness. Oh, no, not a Barrel Spider. Oh, 
No, not more barrel spiders. Get out of here. Why? More freaking barrel spiders? Are you serious right now? Oh, figures. I enter Dark Riku mode and nothing happens. Well, now I gotta find a lot of HP orbs. Or else I'm screwed. Alright, room number one. Let's make it a strong initiative. That'll make the battles go by faster. Alright, heal me, Mickey. Almost healed me all the way! Why?! What's twice as bad as a large body? Two large bodies! Oh wow, I'm entering Dark Rico mode a lot. Dark Break! Dark Break is great for a lot of enemies. It's actually just pretty great in general. No! Get out of here, I don't want to fight barrel spiders, I wanted health. This is strong initiative, I... <laughs> I ain't not getting the first strike. Oh boy, a level up. Let's level up HP. Let's level up pretty much only HP from now on. That would be great. Because Riku's losing a lot of HP, I'm noticing. A lot of Harry points. Oh yeah, Dark Riku's coming to town. Oh ho! Alright, that's it for Strom Initiative. Let's keep going up, though, and avoid the lower rooms, because I hate this deck. Four or higher. Lasting Days looks like a good idea. So here's the thing, I really like the Dragon Maleficent card because of the power it gives you. But it just makes it so easy for them to break your cards. But it works pretty well with Lasting Days, so... I think I'm gonna keep that up. Out of map cards, eh? Well, I know quite a few we could get rid of. Cough, cough, almighty darkness. Cough, cough, mingling worlds. Oh, actually, I don't have a lot of mingling worlds. Looming darkness, don't need those. I'm good with the rest. Alright, we have climbed to the top of the wall. Now I think we're gonna do a feeble darkness. Small room, few heartless, and the heartless cards are worse, so our deck will be better by comparison. Remember, kids, if you can't make your own deck better, screw everyone else's deck. Don't actually do that. Colorful already does not condone that. And I failed to even get the first strike. That was an epic fail of massive proportions. I like being able to hit all these enemies at the same time, though. A nice level up. Still HP. I'm happy with 30 DP. It just fits so well, because 30 DP is the amount you need in order to turn into Dark Riku, and that's the amount you get at the start of Dark Riku now. So, part of me kind of wants to just make a moment's reprieve to get it over with, but I've already fought a few enemies here. Let's see. Ah, uh, stagnant space. Why not? I like the green map cards. At least I should be at Hades now. Yeah. Hades is up from here. Alright, time for Hades. We need 30 red cards. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And then the cube beginnings. Let's fight Hades. Let's start with the Dragon Maleficent card, shall we? And then break his temper for us late as soon as he uses it. Yes, we get it, Hades. You love using that. <laughs> I'm just using this to get into dark mode as soon as possible, honestly. 
Oh no! He made it in! Oh yeah, take this, Hades. Oh no! No! My source of power! Out of my way, Hades, come on. Alright, here we go. Hades is tough in Riku's story because his slates are hard to break without using zero cards. Thank goodness for Jafar, though. Oh well, he's almost dead, which is cool. Take that, Hades. Good riddance. Wow, that was tough, though. He whittled my HP down to almost to nothing. Aw, oh, didn't even get a level up from that. Well, we get the Hades card. That could be useful if our HP ever falls low. Because we don't have to bother with the <laughs> uh, CP. Alright. Well, I guess we got one more room to go through for here. I, uh, we'll just use a moment's reprieve. I'm bored of this world, anyways. All right, Riku, let's continue. Is something troubling you, Lexius? Vexen is no more. Yes, his scent is gone. It was Axel. You know, it's deplorable. Agents of the organization striking each other down. The bigger problem is Sora. His strength exceeds Vexen's, and yet surely Namine has subverted him by now. It's only a matter of time before he ends up Marluxia's puppet. So what do you propose? Shall we destroy Sora before Marluxia secures him? That won't be necessary. If Marluxia is to hold the light, then we hold the dark. Riku. Ooh, that's not good. Just one card left. If I give for this, can I finally rid myself of the dark? Well, we're on basement four now, so that means only four more worlds left. And next up is Halloween Town, which is going to be the best world we've seen yet. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. Oh, only two level ups that world. That's what I get for making small rooms.